Italy. I know, as I said yesterday, that there are already efforts to move Africa in the direction of unity at the economic front, but the suspicions in Africa are too great. The African politician is perhaps, with due respect to them, Africa's curse. The day the African politician realizes that the occupation of political office and political space is one of servant leadership, that is the day Africa will begin to move in the right direction. The day the African politician realizes that the occupation of public space and public office is an honor and a privilege, that is the day Africa begins to move in the right direction. The day the African politician recognizes that the occupation of office is not one for the privatization of public wealth, that is the day Africa will begin to move in the right direction. The day the African politician recognizes that they do not have the monopoly of wisdom, that is the day that Africa will begin to move in the right direction. The day the African politician realizes that longevity in office is not the solution to African problem. That is the day Africa begins to realize the potential. The day that the African politician begins to remember that the electoral vote is a charge for them to deliver on health, on agriculture and education, that is the day Africa will begin to know her place in the world. The day the African politician is liberated from the chains of greed, that is the day that Africa will realize our potential. And I say all that because it is not lost on me that one of the reasons why Africa cannot unite is because we have become so used as politicians in Africa to our little countries where we are treated like demigods. And because we too, we who are the led, we have treated our leaders as demigods for too long and they now are conditioned to believe that they are gods. You know, respecting leaders is a good thing. Because that is what is right. Once you have given people the privilege to serve you, you give them respect. But respect must be earned. Many times in my own country, in Kenya, I see the individuals, some of the individuals that we elect into public office, some are fine, but some are not. In fact, most are not. And in my rural village, they elect some semi-illiterate individual who everybody knows is semi-illiterate and everybody knows he is not wise. <laughs> but the day after his election, when he attends a forum such as this, those who invite him to speak will say, let so-and-so whom we elected yesterday share his wisdom with us. And I want to assure you that there is no magic in the ballot box. If you are a dunderhead, the mere fact that you have been elected does not convert you into anything. You just remain an elected dunderhead. And Africa has no shortage of dunderheads who are leading her in the wrong direction. The direction of disunity. 